The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is the Players' Lounge. Broadcasting live from Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters at the Star. Now, your hosts, Barry Church, Danny McRae, Heckma Harrison, and Newey Scruggs. Here we are, Players Lounge. Let's ride. <laughs> He go, he go, he kept it. He kept the less ride. You got man. one more week. Man. Shout out to Russ, man. man. He, he, get paid, he, he did get paid. Yeah, he did get paid. He did though. get paid. He got a 37. He's not a sad already. day. Already. <laughs> hey, he wiping his face with all hundreds. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let me go ahead and cry with these. Oh, man. <laughs> You know the crew. Danny McCray, Heck Harris, yes. and Barry Church. Oh, I knew he scruggs. So uh, Russell Wilson being benched <laughs> in Denver. On well, the second day of Kwanzaa. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, I mean. Fried uh, on your day off. <laughs> Ain't that something. He's man. due, it, it, I, said, I think it's the fifth day of the league year. He's due $37 million guaranteed. Yes. So if you, it, you know, he gets hurt in these last two games, well, then he's getting a straight bag. So you know what they did like they did Derek Carr? Hey, hey young fellas. Man, chill out. Hey, yeah. it's, it's a 30, whatever, on top of what he was already going get right right it's gonna be yeah, guaranteed, so, guaranteed. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so now if they want to make a move you know it's a, you know, it's a, it's a dirty game yeah. they too young to remember what nino said <laughs> what it's, not, it's never business it's, it's all, never personal it's, it's never personal it's always, always business, business. So man. he's having a good season so he get all does he get the guaranteed he signed for when he first signed up for the for the so, so, yeah. so oh. mostly what they'll do according to and it was an article i read about two days ago that florio had put it out there on profootballtalk.com basically 37 mil guaranteed by the league year fifth. And he had posted, like, do you sit him? Because of what they did with Carl last Man, year. Man, this guy Florio is a real piece of work. Man, how you going to put that in the are universe serious, like that? Bro? That's crazy. That's a real piece. Seriously? <laughs> so so this That's is something that every – I mean, if you if you are a team, you got to ask it. Do we want to pay him? And it's clear by the things that Sean Payton has Man. been saying, he's not sold on Russell. Nah. So instead of paying him the 37 mil, you get ready to make up a post-June cut and you start slicing it. So the question is, are they going now going to be paying him to go away? Because of the the part of his contract that is still guaranteed, they're basically going to get so because the thirty seven mil would have been guaranteed on June fifth. I mean March fifth. You cut him now. You 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 will designate him to be a post June one cut. He's not going to get that money, and so now you're going to have to eat that 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 oh, man. all that other money. That's a lot of bread. What well, you're it's right. Less than what is it? Less than what it would have been had he. Basically, it's almost gonna 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 kind of okay. even out. Uh-huh. But bottom line is, Sean doesn't want. It. Yeah. And if you're Sean Payton, you go to you just say, hey guys, look, you saw where we were. This is not good enough. You're a seven and eight team right now. Um, it's what it is. Yeah. Oh, they eliminated. Yeah. They eliminated. They go. Because wait, hold on. Chiefs leading it, right? They're nine and six in that division with two more left, which is crazy. Yeah. And, I, and I don't believe have they even clinched. So uh, right, right now they're the third seed. So Baltimore is your one yeah. seed. So th- this is the way it would look in the first round. So Baltimore gets a bye in the AFC. Yeah. Then it would be Miami is a two seed against Indianapolis. But obviously we know Miami and Baltimore play this week. But the right now, currently, um, Miami against Indy. and Because Indy's a seven seed. Three seeds, Kansas City. They would face Buffalo, the six seed. Ooh, and then it would be what a game. Duval, the Duval. four seed against Cleveland. Uh, well, the fifth seed. That's what, that's the current playoff so, picture. Names. So Buffalo is what they, they won game over five hundred, right? Nine and six. Well, well, they're projected to be nine and six right now. But uh, right now, Buffalo is yeah nine and six right now. They nine and six. Okay, yeah, they're nine and six right now. And Buffalo, Buffalo's got New England at home, and then they're on the road uh, in the season on the road at Miami. Yeah. So that's where they, that's where they're at there. Then over here on the NFC side, you've got uh, San Francisco is your one seed. Mm. Then your seventh seven seed is Seattle, and they would go to Philadelphia, the two seed. Do the Lord's work. Mm. The sixth seed <laughs> would be the Rams at the third seed of Detroit Lions. And the five seed Cowboys right now would be at the four seed Tampa Bay. So that's the current playoff. Hey, <laughs> your wish. Hey. I'm telling you, you're going you to eat those words. Hey. Hey. Somehow, you're going to come in and say, you're going to eat those no, words. Let's no, 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 not say that. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, go put it out there. No, 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 put it out there. I'm gonna eat those words. No, no. It, not, it, even if it's not in the first round, I'm saying if you if you end up not getting the, the, the two seed and you have to go on the road for the entirety of the playoffs, the, you you are eating those words mm. of like we have not performed well mm. on the road, which is thank goodness we are, we at home this week. Mm. There's Detroit. Uh, they early, but they, thank goodness mm. we home. 
Dan Campbell. Cow- Cow- Cowboys can still win this thing. They still get the two seeds. They, 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 that's, that, that, that's what I want. Go lay it play out. Go let play. Let it play, it play out. <laughs> what do you do? You still want the five seed? Is that you? Are you, is that still your your, your stance? I wouldn't do it. I'm, I go either way. No, <laughs> see, fence. Oh, on the fence, no. <laughs> I did fence. Now, nah, before Church got here, you was all off the fence. You was, you was, yeah, yeah. We want. Yeah, the five I mean, look, seat. look, look. You know, ba- Baker's played well, so I'm like, <laughs> but I can honestly, holes, I but, can see what the matchups but, that you're talking about. Why the five seed would be attractive. Now I'll say this: you say two seed now is Seattle versus. I, I just want the Rams. So if it's two seed Seattle, yeah, sign me up. I'll take the Rams at home if I take Tampa on the road. I don't and, and the my, next team on the road. So so my whole premise mm-hmm. was not wanting any to, parts of the yeah, Rams. Nah, I got you. So now Seattle's sitting here at seven. Rams are sitting here at six. Rams, Detroit, first round. Boo, that'd be that'd be that, that's good TV right there. Sign me up to watch that one. I mean, that 49ers and Rams game at the end of the season is gonna be a that's yeah. gonna be a doozy. Be a doozy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So look, the 49ers. Let me go here and look at the 49ers schedule. Uh at Washington this week, so nigga, we'll yeah, be there. That's, that's a dub. That's a dub. Payback. Yeah, yeah I don't feel oh. no kind of way about Jacoby Brissett. <laughs> nah, I, I, start. Well, you you might be missing. You might be missing <laughs> yeah, Trent Williams. Yeah, uh, I game. tried. So you might be missing Trent. Is it in Washington? It's in Washington. It's in Washington. So they got to make that flight. Yeah. So you know, what West is, Coast what is to the East Trent's Coast ain't. It ain't. It ain't uh, easy. Injury. It ain't easy. Oh, that's bad. Got a groin injury, yeah. So you know, I, I can see that he. W- I imagine he won't be playing this week because you want to get him ready the, for the playoffs. So Ron that's your only hope. Old river boat. The, one of the NBC guys is out there when the, when Washington went to go uh, play out there at the Rams, and he tweets a picture of a SoFi saying, "It's like you never know anything can happen." I was like, "No, you know, it's a wrap. <laughs> you know, that's a wrap. <laughs> it's not what going to shame. happen." Mm-hmm. It's not going mm-hmm. Poor Terry McLaurin. They're wasting his life and career. Yeah. Jonathan Allen. Getting just, that money, though. I don't know, <laughs> man. I don't know if he wanted that bad. So, so you got that. Um, <laughs> let's talk about these Cowboys. They are a six-point favorite at home against Detroit. Huh? Yes. Six. Like that? They smoking on it, like that. Man, must be that. They trying try to set you up. Oh, they, yeah. they, come on, come on, man. Man. Go ahead, go ahead, give me come that bread. Come on, man. Give me him. They stay rich for a reason. Man. Yeah, that's true. Oh, by the way, breaking news here: um, Cowboys release linebacker Rashawn Evans after marijuana arrest. Mm. Just came up on the uh, on the old thing there. So I hate to see it, man. But at least he got Christmas in. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, you know, because he's he not, he not, he not exempt either. Got that okay. Christmas check. How how do you, as a player who was brought in mid season, knowing that you have to do everything you possibly can to stay on this roster, slip up like that? Mistakes. I just don't like. I don't understand. It's something that you're gonna look back on five years from now and be like, man. Uh, it, this team go to the playoffs and all of a sudden make a run, and then that is the reason why you weren't a part of that 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 roster with all the work that you put mm. in, and and that's the news out there. So now, and the next person who's thinking about picking you up has to worry like that's just, I just don't, I, I never understand oh, it. It's a bad situation, uh, but it still doesn't help us <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, it, it don't. I mean, the linebacker room is thin, and we're already in in a position right now where your main concern and worry is stopping the run. I don't. That's it. That's it. We got to stop the run. And we need linebackers to do it, and we can't have enough of them. It's a, it's a, it's a team that going into training camp, you thought you were pretty solid at the linebacker position. And yeah. then one ACL injury to overshone later. It's, man, it's real next thing. Day, next thing you know, it, this that's the thinnest room on, on defense. So – I don't know how we, especially coming up this week against Detroit, because you're going to need your linebackers to play tough. You're going to need your linebackers. And mm-hmm. is there any word on, on Hankins? Any, any any word on Hankins being able to uh, play? Because no. we're going to need somebody in, it, in the it middle. Is, it didn't sound like it. It didn't sound like it. Man. Now, listen, after, after the negative yesterday, okay, I do want to I do want to speak positively about my man Dan Quinn. Somebody's phone is on. His name is <laughs> it, it nah, ain't. That's CB in the back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My bad. I, just, I, just, uh, I want to speak positively about Dan Quinn, okay? For just because of what you said. You go into the season knowing that you have an Overshawn, an LVE, you're looking at Demon Clark, you're looking at your linebacker room, and you feel Jabril comfortable Cox, about yeah, Jabril yeah. Cox. And then and then the injuries start to strike. Okay, and whatever he's been able to do. 
with all those injuries and then putting in a guy like Marquise Bell and saying, hey, I think you can be successful here. Mm-hmm. Not as successful as one of like a natural linebacker, yeah. but serviceable enough for oh, us to yeah. make it through this point in the season. That takes some work and some trust in what you can see and get out of a player. Mm-hmm. So I want to give him some props on that. And I'm still standing tall on this. Miami, listen, 22 points, you got to get the dub. You got <laughs> to get the dub. 22, <laughs> dog, you got to get the dub. This team put up 70 on the Denver Broncos. I, I, I watched them, and Denver has a good defense. I just, you know, in the playoffs, I expect them, you know. If they win this game, and they're six point favorites here, surprising. How would you feel? Because you nice. you would be beating a division winner mm-hmm. who can run the football, which has been your Achilles heel, and you would complete a perfect home record. Yeah. And getting ready to face a Washington team that has been giving up right now, and they are four and mm-hmm. eleven right now. And they get they get San Francisco this week, so I'm about to say they four and twelve. Yeah, you're right about that. I feel good. Would you feel good then? I would feel good if they were able to go out there and, and beat this Detroit team. Because when you look at it, we all understand what's going to happen in this game. It's going to be a playoff atmosphere. You got you know two teams competing for seeding as far as the playoffs are concerned. So you know you're going to get the most out of each and every team. You look at Dan Quinn and what he's able to bring to Detroit, you know you're going to get a 60-minute battle. I mean, that's 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 what it's going to be on both sides of the football, offensively and defensively. Campbell. Uh, yeah, yeah, with Campbell, my bad. So then – with that Detroit team, offensively, you know what their best thing is. That's their offensive line. So it's going to go against our defensive line versus their offensive line. To me, it's going to be the matchup that's going to solve this game. Because if you're able to slow down that run, which is it's a doozy because they got two big-time backs. You're talking about Montgomery. You're talking about Gibbs. It's kind of like Pollard and, and Elliott last year when you got that thunder-lightning mm-hmm. combo. So if you're able to, to slow that down and force it into Jared Goff's hands, <laughs> We all know that man is a statue in the backfield. He, he's a statue. And if you give him time, he can pick you apart. But if you go into it similar to what you did in the Rams game when you had a statue at quarterback like Matt Stafford, if you're able to harass this man, it could be a blowout. Now, that's a lot of ifs because we understand what they bring as, as far as that run game. But to me, that's the matchup that's that's going to be the big-time thing is that offensive line in the trenches. So, Heckman Harrison, they win this game, then how are you feeling now, man? First of all, it's, it's a if is a big old if right now, and I feel good if they win it because I feel like this is your tough your toughest opponent that you faced at home um, on off, on offense mm-hmm. and on defense. I think that Detroit is a tough team that a lot of people may be under not looking at or mm-hmm. undervaluing what they can do in the playoffs. But I think this is a dangerous team that's starting to catch fire at the right time mm-hmm. and. It's, it's, it's funny how when you look at, at this Gibbs kid from Detroit, how similar he looks to James Cook. Yeah. Just his ability in open field, but also as a receiver. He, he does something out of the backfield, catches the ball, and, and he's really good. I think the one area for me is, and I, I'm with you, I've always wanted that number two seed because I felt like we're so much better at home. Offensively, mm-hmm. we're so much better at home. And in that game versus Miami, like you're saying, mm-hmm. you, they get 22 points, you need to score 30 points. Yeah. That's, that's all it is to it, right? Um, but I feel like we play so much better at home. Defensively, we got to figure out a way to get our mojo back. However, we got to do it. We got to sell out to do it. Mm-hmm. Whatever we have, we've got to get it right at home versus a, a Detroit Lions team that – Their offensive line is, if we thought we had a challenge against the Bills, if we thought we had a challenge against some of these other teams that's brought some physicality, this is a Bills team. I mean, this is a Lions squad that is also very physical at the line of scrimmage. And, man, they are playing for Dan Campbell. I mean, I know he's a guy that you've been talking about for a while now and just what he represents and and the way that those guys are playing for him. And you can just get a feeling from that team that they'll run through a brick wall for Dan Campbell right now. Gibbs. You guys like Gibbs. Gibbs and Montgomery. I think think if we win this game, it it depends on how the game plays out. Because for me, I want to see us be able to consistently stop the run. Okay, and then we ran up against Buffalo, didn't do so well. I I am – I feel better about our run defense based off how we played against Miami. So, real quick, would that be a good run stopping for you if we go against Detroit and held them to the same amount you, of yards as you, Miami? If, yes, if you, okay. if you held them to a, Miami, a, a team like that, yards. you're yeah. going to beat that team because yeah. Jared Goff, as good as he's been playing, if you put the game in his hands, he's probably going to turn the ball over yeah. multiple times. But if you let them get into this position where they can run the ball, then they got play action, and then Laporta can get rolling, Ooh. now you have an issue. But if you stop them like you stopped Miami, Montgomery and Gibbs, 
tips, then I feel like you have a very good chance of winning this game. Not only this game, but then that gives you the confidence to say, okay, this is one of the better running teams in the league. Yes. When we go up and face another team that specializes in running the football, you know for a fact that you can get it done because you've done it against Miami, who was a top five, and now you're doing it against Detroit. And mm-hmm. that's what we've been waiting to see the entire year because that's been our Achilles heel in the playoffs. Can we stop the run? Where's Gibbs from? Where the rookie? Man. <laughs> Go get it. Go get it. Roll time. Hey, oh, man. Man. Put off the man. Right away. Man. Man. He's still talking about getting we, we, my, 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 my man just won the Heisman this year. Just we yeah, check out the Heisman man. Trophy. And he over here talking about uh, Gibbs in, my, in Alabama. Hey, man, look. Who, you're, you're, he, you're, you're, I know where he didn't go. Top, I know where he didn't go. Five, he didn't go to your school. Top five. <laughs> <laughs> as, 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 why would he? Oh, yeah. Why would he? Why would if he? we could get Tony Pollard to play like Gibbs. <laughs> yeah, does, yeah, but does then, that work? Does that work? There you go. There you go. But does he have the opportunities Gibbs is getting? Does, is he getting the opportunity Gibbs is getting? I don't know. I don't know. Somebody, what is Gibbs' stats this year? First of all, like, you don't even got to pull like, up the stats. It's like 800, 800 yeah. yards. You, you don't even have to pull up the stats. Yeah. It, it just looked different. Yeah. It, looks like, yeah. it looks different. Of course yeah. it does. It looked different. And, and at this point, through, throughout the season, if Tony Pollard got 20 carries, I do not believe that you will see anything drastically different. Like I, I like I don't know how I don't know, like, man. at this point like we're, we're like how uh, tell me the ideal way you would use Tony Pollard Sp- specifically because you've been watching the season uh-huh. you see how many times the man want to come out of the game but is that is that him, him saying I, that I've I'm seen questioned. him I mean, I've seen listen, it maybe two I, times this whole season where he go like this I don't I, know I, I, I've, seen I, it, I've seen I've more seen I've seen him get, go like this <laughs> and have to go okay. off the field so, so, so I, 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 don't I, know. I ideally in, in, in a perfect world. What do you get from Tony Pollard? What like how many opportunities, runs, passes? Like, Why not twenty five touches? Twenty five t- t- total, total touches. T- Why not? Here's the thing I'm gonna say: Tony Pollard has more yards than Gibbs. Okay, all right. But like you said, eyeball tests two different types of yeah. of players. I'm only talking about from the receiving aspect mm-hmm. when our Short passing, and, and that's one of the questions that I brought up about what do we have to do when the running game is because right now we don't have a running game. Let's keep it real. We don't have one. And so how do you go into the playoffs saying I don't have a running game? There's going to have to be an extension of the passing game, the short passing game that extends to the running game for this offense to even be a threat in the postseason. Because if we cannot test teams at the line of scrimmage, we're, we're dead in the water because then we become one-dimensional. And that's my only thing. We are searching desperately for another weapon. Teams already know we're going to go to Ferguson. Teams already know we're going to go to CeeDee Lamb. And they're already checking the fact that with Brandon Cooks, he's trying to hit us on something deep with Cooks. Yeah, which is, like, I, and, and, I, and I understand the 25 touches mm-hmm. thing. I'm still on the, like, okay, we're not a running team. We're a passing team. You need to still find a way to get your top passing weapons involved. We have not consistently done that. Brandon Cooks last week, two catches, two catches, two targets, one for a touchdown. We've been talking about this all season. Yeah. What happens when you take away C.D. Lamb? Do we have an opportunity to get somebody else involved? Then we started seeing it's Tober, it's Gallup, it's Turpin. When you got a guy like Brandon Cooks out there, now I could just not be watching the, the, enough film, and maybe he's getting covered, and then I then I would admit that I was wrong, right? But until I get to watch all this, I'm gonna say this: I've seen the guy, and every time you throw him the ball, he has an opportunity to make a big time play, and he's done it with touchdowns or first downs. Yeah. Looking well, at numbers here, just to Tony Pollard, 219 carries for 886 yards, five touchdowns. Gibbs, 154 carries for 872 yards, Whoa. nine touchdowns. <laughs> yeah, yard, yard, yards per attempt. Um, yards per attempt. Tell me what that is. I had to go back. Oh, okay. Because uh, it then, seems much higher. Than t- then, then on uh, Montgomery, 195 carries for 910 yards and 11 touchdowns. So those two have combined for 20 touchdowns. Man. Um, so a dangerous duo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jeez. So... Uh, it's different, but I I would also come back into this, and I go I go back to what Skip Pete said when he was a running back coach here. Um, man, you, you got to get these guys. It needs to be two dudes. Detroit's going with two dudes, and with Pollard, that's what he felt the best way to use Tony. So you want to go back to uh, yards per average. And Montgomery is four point seven yards carry. Gibbs. Five point seven. Um, so, <laughs> if I were to say, how could you make Tony Pollard a better player? Go get another running back to pair with him is what I would say. It's been, and it's, but it's hard to strike like that in the draft when you get a guy like Gibbs and then you could bring him Montgomery. It's it's hard to be able yeah. to well, do that. I mean, but but living in the now, 
living yes. in the now uh-huh. of our situation. Um, Rico Dowdle, we asked that question a couple of weeks ago. How many carries should Rico Dowdle get? Mm-hmm. Not one to five, you know, what we're seeing. His production hasn't – it's not trending up. In, mm-hmm. in any way. And you saw in the first quarter, Mike McCarthy come into the game and say, look, we're on Elliptic, you know, we need, a, we need one yard. We're going to give it to 40. A couple of times, we, we're going to do this. I don't think that that was the plan. This, that's the plan going forward through the rest of the season and in the playoffs. But we've got to find a way. Because if teams are not threatened at all by, by us, our inability to run, or just thinking that, hey, third and one, they're going to turn around and hand this off. Third and two, we're doing tight end crossing routes, man. And that, and that to me is and that's the scary part. When you're in f- fourth and two, and you pass the ball, and you have no confidence whatsoever but in can, your run. But can we can we honestly say that Pollard has give, got the opportunity this year to be that bell cow back? Can, can we honestly say that that he's got an opportunity to get the touches that a number one running he, back should get? He he got more than them. <laughs> he got, but based off of two nineteen. But based right off now. of what you're saying, you want him to be a twenty to twenty five a carry. Why not? Okay. Let, let him prove us wrong. Let him prove that he can't be that guy. What, so what else do we have to lose when we had the, the running game is where it is right now? I mean, you had, there's no other option. You might as well give him those opportunities to be that. And if he proves you wrong and says, "Hey, he he can't do it like like he can't be that number one guy," then we start to push a push and pull with different running backs. But until that point, why not give him the opportunity to go out there and prove himself? I mean, you give it to everybody else. Let's get a break. Yeah. Uh, get a break. Got to get a break in here. I don't know. I don't, I don't, right. We'll see. Cowboys activated somebody off the injured reserve list today. Let's talk about that okay. next with Barry Church, Heckman Harrison, Danny McCray. I'm Newey Scruggs. This is the Players' Lounge, brought to you by Tostitos on DallasCowboys.com radio. It's the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys, Jack Black. And right now, Cowboys fans can get 15% off their $75 order. Plus, because every deal needs a playmaker, your order will include a free five-piece skincare set and free shipping. The Jack Black Playmaker is four of Jack's favorites and a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Make a play for the playmaker at getjackblack.com slash cowboys with the code COWBOYSVIP. That's getjackblack.com slash cowboys with the code COWBOYSVIP. Hi, I'm Danny McCray, Dallas Cowboys alumni player here with Smoothie King. And Smoothie King wants to ask you, what's that sound? That's the sound of us magically transforming our smoothie bowls into two new decadent flavors. Dig into a cool acai or pitaya bowl handcrafted with crunchy, purely Elizabeth granola, fresh strawberries, and finished with a velvety chocolate hazelnut drizzle. Perfect for breakfast, lunch, or any time you want a munch. And that's the sound of you making them disappear. Smoothie Bowls, now in two new decadent flavors. Only at Smoothie King, the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. To kick off the 2023 NFL season, Hugo Boss teamed up with the NFL and Micah Parsons to launch an iconic apparel collection. Featuring hoodies, crews, t-shirts, polos, joggers, and more. The bold, unique apparel of the Boss NFL Collection unites football and fashion while reflecting what it truly means to be a boss. Get yours today at nflshop.com slash Hugo Boss, at hugoboss.com, and at Boss Retail Stores. Hashtag be your own boss. There is no I in Dallas. There is no I in Hart either. No I in Blue Star or in Lone Star for that matter. And there's no I in how about them Cowboys? Smirnoff knows there's no I in football. Football is a we thing, an experience that is best enjoyed together. With good drinks and good folks, home or away, we rally together, we cry together, and we always rally cry together because there's definitely no I in Cowboys fans. Smirnoff, we do game days. Please drink responsibly. Back to the Players' Lounge. Enjoy premier dining, shopping, and experiences from over 20-plus restaurants, shops, and more at the Star District. Check out Women's Boutique Flea Style of Frisco and the official boot partner of the Dallas Cowboys, Lou Casey. Enjoy New Year's celebrations at Snowbird Cocktail Lounge, Concrete Cowboy, and City Works Eatery. Visit thestardistrict.com for more information and the full directory. Thank you, Heckma Harrison. You're the Players' Lounge brought to you by Tostitos. We got Danny McCray. We got Barry Church. I'm Newey Scruggs right here. So the Cowboys released linebacker Rashawn Evans after he was arrested for possession of marijuana Tuesday in Frisco. And as they waived him, they have made room for offensive tackle Matt Willetsko, hey. activated off the injured reserve after okay. dealing with a shoulder injury that he suffered in wow. training camp. So, Okay, well, let's go back in there. So, uh, oh, you need him. 
Chuma Doga did it, boy. I tell it was, you, it Chuma, that's what it was. Chuma, Chuma been chilling all week. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and practice, get these one reps, and then let Tyra, t- Tyra take over in the game. And then he finally had to go out there and take some live reps. Boy, and they, oh. said, they said, hey, you know what the coach said up top, up top said? Get Matt. Well, let's go on the phone. We <laughs> Get him right. We Get, get Matt right. We, we got some back at the house that can do better than. Look out. Look, look out. out. Duck. Man, look out. Not so look out. So duck. You said Aiden Hutchinson coming to town this week? Yeah, Hutch. Mm. He going to find him a matchup now. Wait, he going to be around. He gonna, <laughs> where he at? He going to find him a matchup. Whew. Unbelievable. Man, hope he's 7-7 seven, 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 ready. He, he's 7-7 seven, seven back this week. So, mm. let's hope, hope whatever they inject him with, the pills, whatever he's taking, man, it, it works Make out. Make sure when you go to the locker room, you get that interview for us, man. Yeah. Like, no, we, I'm serious. I'm not joking. We, I'm serious, we, man. We never please. do interviews. I just, it's just, seven, just, seven, seven, one, one, just say holler at us, man. What's up? Just, good? They just friends. They, they talk cool. online. Yeah, so, yeah, so right cool. now, what I'll do, I'll, I'm going to talk to them pregame. Right do the brother head game. nod. Just, no, we walk up to him. We talk. We have a pregame. We talk, talk pregame. That's when I get my. Get my yeah, that's what he, he can keep him keep guessing. Hey, he, hey, man. Steady. If he got the neck roll on, you know, it's ready to grow. Uh, that's I, not true. We've seen a bad one on this week, uh, oh, this year. That's true. That's true. You've been making jokes all year. was the last week you needed him. Might have won that game. Yes. Yes. We always need Tyron Smith to be healthy. Like, that's not the argument here, dude. Don't even try to. We always need him healthy because when he's healthy, he is one of the top tackles in the league. I also seen Trent Williams go down, and they was 0 3 without Trent Williams, and then they lost that game the other night without Trent Williams. Now you're preaching. It is very important to have your best player because when they in the game, the difference when the, when the backup get in is so visible when you have such a great player at left tackle. And that is our problem. And that's also San Francisco's problem. Somebody's so great playing left tackle that no matter who gets in as a replacement besides Tyler Smith, yeah. you just see a, a huge difference. But honestly, that's every team. Name how many teams out there can lose a left tackle and That's they true. got somebody. Oh, here he, here he is. Fill on in there. It's we don't miss him. It's different, though. I don't know. Yeah. San, San Fran, look, they, we, they were 0 and 3. But, but it's a different, it's still so different because. These are two all decade guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. They're so great. So we always need them. We always need them. And uh, we've seen Kansas City go to the Super Bowl without any offensive linemen. I mean, look, you need your left tackle. But Lord knows, we didn't want to look that funny in the light. <laughs> without Tyron. Like, we, we look funny in the light without Tyron, man. Almost now, every time. Yeah. So, so, at some point in time, and I think we saw it on that last drive there, this is this becomes with all Mike McCarthy. You see Chuma out here getting, 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 Done guessing it. wrong. Help him. Help him. Somebody there. You drafted the schoolmaker, got came from Michigan to block. Block. Help him. Mm. We can't sit around here and ask Chuma to be tired because he's not tired. Yeah, mm, we keep yeah. on doing that around here. When Chaz Green went out there. Look, I know Chaz was terrible against Atlanta, but my goodness gracious, Scott Linhan, help him. I, I think with, with Chuma Doga, one of the, the legitimate gripes that I have is just the communication. You got one guy coming inside and the guy coming outside, and you take the inside guy. That's a, that's a misread. There's a communication breakdown. I never played offensive line, so I don't know the responsibility of that, but I know you're not supposed to let Chubb come free. Like, that, can't, that can't be the plan, especially when you, guys, you have a guy sitting inside. So, I, I, again, I know it's a preparation in all week, and all, all week these guys go into it expecting to see everything, especially blitz pla- packages, um, but they just didn't handle it well. And, and that was a problem with the execution of the offense. <clears throat> it's like the NBA. Well, obviously, you see somebody, get, somebody getting hot. We better go. We got to figure out something. We got to start doubling. We have to do something. And it was pretty clear. Chubb was getting hot on, on Chuma. Help him. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it must be really difficult to, to do. Because, like you said, we've been talking about this since Linehan. Now we got Mike McCarthy. And you know they know, mm-hmm. right? But, like, I wonder what it is that holds them back in certain issues, in certain instances to say, all right, we don't have a play for that. And, like, right now it's a guy to have it. I don't have a guy to, a, a, a guy to have it play with us bringing, holding the tight end in to come in and help uh, Chuma. Do. I, like, I don't I don't know what it is, but we it's consistent. And it's consistent yeah. across the league, too. Because, like you said, when other teams uh, uh, have these left tackle problems, you say the same thing, help them. Well, you can't. Well, the problem with the boys is you, you couldn't help both sides. Because if you look at it, yes, uh, was was number two for Miami. Uh, Chubb. Chubb was going crazy. But if you look at it, number 43, Van Winkle, Van yeah. Ginkle, he was giving he was Terrence so Steele all he wanted on that right side. Yeah. So it's like, but, but so it, where, where you going to help? <laughs> but play callers are so much in there. All right, we got to get a four wide receiver set. Well, guess what, man? Send three. Yeah. How about yeah. that? Let's, we going to send three and find 88. 
How about that? Yeah, I got some. Hey, hey, you hey, may school. well only send three out because you're tossing it to one. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we go school, school, you stay in, we send out three, go find 88. Yeah. Right, there you go. You know there he get go. double, so send them on out there with yeah. the double team and, and throw it to Tober or uh, whoever else you want. Cooks throw run to. fast. <laughs> throw it to clear it out. Clear it out. Everybody oh, clear out, clear it out, out, man. Clear How about it out. How about that? Wait a minute. What's the name of the play? Cooks run fast. You run fast, find 88, school, you stay in. On, on three. Here we go. That can't be it. That, that, that ain't it, man. Now, 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 now Cook did run fast. And he was, it was a little, the, the, it was a bad ball. That, 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 that would have been a big that, time that play. That was his fault. He did his part. That, that would have been a big time yeah, play. Uh, like, yeah, I, I, yeah. I was excited to see them open the game that way. I was yeah, excited to shot, see him open the game shot. that way. And it was, now, you know, it's a game yeah. inches. Game I inches. I need to get myself hot like that. You know. I know. That's how you be screaming at the TV, huh? No. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. What are we doing? <laughs> that's how you be trying to get home during halftime. He's like, you got to soda. I'm, I'm out too of old that. for that. Dude. Back in the day, when I cared that much, now nah, I don't care. But, like, you know, I watch it and I just, you know, I watch it. But I'm not invested like that anymore. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, by the way, speaking of invested, Jair Alexander was... Was oh, not man. named a captain on Sunday by the Green Bay Packers, but he went out for the coin toss anyway and made the call. <laughs> no, he didn't. quote hold every, on quote <laughs> everybody was laughing. I was like, "What y'all laughing at?" The Packers have suspended him for one game for conduct detrimental <laughs> to the team. What's going on here, man? <laughs> so my man, he, he must be from Charlotte or something, or because they played in Carolina, so he, he must be. Y'all ain't gonna have. I'm at my hometown. That. That's fake news. Hey, hold on. Hey, I'm calling. He fake went out news, there and right? took they over the coin that. toss. He's suspended for one game. Goodness gracious. Even out there. <laughs> hey, it's, it's this, <laughs> this reminds me, bro. Do you remember, uh, was it the Super? It was some game in the playoffs. My man was on the sideline with flip-flops on and ran out there on the field and got a penalty. Oh, not to him, yeah. Not him, though. He was I, hyped for somebody else. They were trying to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. He ran on the field yeah, with him. Man, yeah. 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 flip-flops. What so, is wrong with this? Cast so, me hype, man. I'm, I'm doing the bad. coin toss. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't going to tell me no. Because he knew he wasn't the captain before the coin toss. So he knew he was going out. See, <laughs> that's why I hate these so, game so time at, he, so he got he got sunglasses on afterwards in the locker room and, and, oh, and, and they interviewed him and he said quote the guys back me up <laughs> see see that's man that's the fuck game or Matt LaFleur boy that's that's it tell your head coach I don't respect you don't care what yes. you say uh, by the way he is the NFL's highest paid corner Oh, so that game, that one game, gonna cost him some coin. Though. Yeah, it's gonna cost him a little coin. Well, it depends on how you know how you know. Did they did they roll up a bunch nah, of money? That's true. You know, depending that's on and, and, you know. Now, are, is Green Bay? Green Bay's not a lock. They're still fighting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they, they one of them in the hunt squad. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're they're there. Yeah, we ain't counting on Green Bay. Okay. Green Bay to make it. Yeah. Detroit locked it up, right? They they locked yeah, the division yeah, yeah. up yes, already. So they are. Yeah. You still counting on uh, on Duval, ain't you? Do you have a little hope for Duval or no? You, you off of that? They're dead to me. It's okay. over with. That quarterback is terrible. Oh, terrible. They said he might play this week. Oh. You know, you got ATN mom out there on social media talking about that old line ain't no good. <laughs> Bad, okay? Jacksonville's oh, man. all going down here. Now you mad at them because you picked them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, look. Man. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Even church ain't here. <laughs> 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 oh. I'm, I'm, past, quiet I'm past that. The bigger issue, heck, is the, the, the fantasy production. Oh, That's the fan. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. it always That's boils down. Fan. Okay, my yeah. bad. I should have known. About that Super Bowl pick. No, this fancy, but mm. ATM went straight down. Bench had to bench Trevor week two. Yeah. Went with Tua, and yeah. then had to go get Joe Flacco because oh, this guy's trash. Mm. Joe Flacco been balling too. Joe, Joe Flacco been balling, but you know, ATN had getting this thing. His mom out there on social media pleading for people to block for him is bad. So no, I'm Duval, not counting man. on Duval to do yeah, anything. Duval, and by the way, guys, <laughs> Alexander actually is from North Carolina. He went to Rocky no, River High School. No, so he was from no, the crib. No, See, he had the crib. Oh my God. I, he was so at he the had crib. The oh, family no. He was like, yeah, like I'm gonna be this captain. Oh, my people here. I'm captain. I'm being his captain. My people here. That, walk that, out here. that makes more sense. He told him he was going to be captain and then found out he and wasn't. It was it. too late for him to he be like, like nah. my mama and grandma and all of them here, they got to see me be able to do this coin talk. Because I told him I was going to call tales for my granddaddy. Man. Told my mama, somebody. Man. And he went out there and did the whole story. Whole background. <laughs> I, I got to make it make sense. Hey, because I don't understand, <laughs> why, you would, I don't understand why you would do it in the first place. But it had to be something like that, that was is very crazy. impactful. I'm going out yeah, there. <laughs> Had a six piece of Bojangle on the sideline, too. What you gonna do, Matt LaFleur? Good, great. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, 
Man, that's disrespectful. But, man. That was Greg Hardy esque. Yeah, very, very. <laughs> <was Greg>. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. You talking about disrespect? That's, Ouch. That's that was, Greg Hardy hey, That was the top well, 10 you, right there. Were well, you there when he and Versace? Oh, yeah. yeah. New York? Right yeah, on the yeah, sideline. Yeah. That was right there. Yeah, right. He was there too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I, I was right in the middle. In my head, I was saying, see, because y'all let him act like this uh, any other time. And that's why he come out here and do it on the field. Out here with, with pajamas on uh, in, in the walkthrough, just disrespecting everybody. Body. Then they look at us like we supposed to do so. I was like, like man, go ahead. <laughs> Why did you help me when he when he choked me in Smoke's yeah. backyard, man? Yeah. <laughs> I said, y'all been letting this dude run amok for the whole season. <laughs> what are you talking wait, about? He was in two years, wasn't he? He choked you. Nah, from Friday. From Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Nah, Hold from on, the movie man. Friday when That's... he went over there like, why ain't y'all help me with these folks? <laughs> That's how Versace was looking at Daddy. Why ain't <laughs> Wow. No, the players lounge like just got real. No, he ain't come at me like that. What? No. Hey, we had just got hit for a touchdown by Dwayne Harris on yeah, that one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just took so it back 100 and some yards. He was stop stealing our feelings when he came over here with that, with that foolishness. <laughs> Slap that. that <laughs> hey, Jody did ask me about that when I went up there. He said, You would have helped me if I was there. I, like, yeah, <laughs> me. Me. I said, But I know you wouldn't have been treating nobody like yeah. that. He wouldn't even have the balls to come over there and do that. That was. And that, that's not on Rich. That's on that's on some, you know, uh, some other folks. Yeah, that's some other folks. But you know. some people need their head check. Yeah, head coach? That's pretty bad. I I, I don't know. Head nah, head it was the, it was the defensive coaches because the they, 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 they couldn't control. Because they hated him and McClain. Hold on. So he just got oh. off the field. <laughs> He just, I forget how he just walked over to the sideline. So 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 they so they Dwayne Harris runs the kickoff back. So now we up for kickoff return. <laughs> this man must have been on the bench somewhere and, and was just man. Come on, stop it. I say, they, don't, they don't have seven points. They got more than seven, uh, Greg. <laughs> Look like he scored on y'all, too. <laughs> man, that was bad. Oh, sit down somewhere. Man, that was wild. Yeah, yeah, but not nah, you know. Wow, 2015 was a wild year. That was a wild year. That was a wild year. He took that fight shirt to a whole new level. <laughs> 2015. Uh, Greg man. was a character. Man, he was. But nah, I thought he'd be beating up people over the UFC. Yeah, I'm not playing with that boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't got me on tape, huh? <laughs> he, 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 he knew what his calling was. He knew what his calling was, for sure. Versace's going to tap out. Hey. <laughs> hey, he ain't want one. none of that. You imagine, uh, you imagine that? I'm talking about Jair Alexander. Just let him get beat up on the sideline <laughs> on, on national TV primetime. You know them cameras going to be over. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You at least pinched them. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch him. I think we need a break. <laughs> on the play side. Brought to you by Tostitos. Hey, you, <laughs> to kick off the 2023 NFL season, Hugo Boss teamed up with the NFL and Micah Parsons to launch an iconic apparel collection featuring hoodies, crews, t shirts, polos, joggers, and more. The bold, unique apparel of the Boss NFL Collection unites football and fashion while reflecting what it truly means to be a boss. Get yours today at nflshop.com slash Hugo Boss, at hugoboss.com, and at Boss Retail Stores. Hashtag be your own boss. Hi, I'm Danny McCray, Dallas Cowboys alumni player here with Smoothie King. And Smoothie King wants to ask you, what's that sound? That's the sound of us magically transforming our smoothie bowls into two new decadent flavors. Dig into a cool acai or pitaya bowl, handcrafted with crunchy, purely Elizabeth granola, fresh strawberries, and finished with a velvety chocolate hazelnut drizzle. Perfect for breakfast, lunch, or any time you want a munch. And that's the sound of you making them disappear. Smoothie Bowls, now in two new decadent flavors. Only at Smoothie King, the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. It's the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys, Jack Black. And right now, Cowboys fans can get 15% off their $75 order. Plus, because every deal needs a playmaker, your order will include a free five-piece skincare set and free shipping. The Jack Black Playmaker is four of Jack's favorites and a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Make a play for the playmaker at Get Jack Black dot com slash cowboys with the code cowboys vip that's get jackblack.com slash cowboys with the code cowboys vip i'm dak prescott quarterback of the dallas cowboys and they snap at the prescott who looks right it's not there he escapes left he'll run for a first down just like football when it comes to crypto it's important to have a team you can trust with blockchain.com i know i'm in good hands since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. Back to the Players' Lounge.
Get the coverage you need this football season with Dallas Cowboy cold weather gear. Visit the nearest pro shop or log on to shop.dallascowboys.com. A fanatics experience and score knit hats, hoodies, jackets, and more. Man. Players Lounge, brought to you by Tostitos. Man. Barry Church, yeah. Heckman Harrison, Danny McCrabb, Louis Scruggs. <laughs> <laughs> I, say that. I, do, do, do. <laughs> I love the improvisation of this show. Do, do, do. Oh, that, that was a fun turn we took man. back there, down memory lane. Mm, mm, Greg mm. Hardy now a UFC fighter. So uh, yeah, know yeah. you're calling. Hey, hey, yeah. understand your gifts. Understand your gifts. Uh, <laughs> on the way over here, I was at a at a different company and and. The lady was upset about the Cowboys. She's mad about the last two weeks. And it just reminded me, if we look here, it's like, you know, it's a 10 and 5 team, but people act like it's 5 and 10. Like, you start thinking about this team here, you only have one team in the league that's got 12 wins, and then you've got one, two, three, four. Four other teams that have 11 wins. So the Cowboys are right behind. This is a good football team with two games to go. Why is everybody so gloomy and doomy, man? Are you really asking? I'm asking, man, because because I literally, I mean, she was. I said, you know, they got Detroit this week. They're six point favorite. Then in the end the year against Washington, you could end up with 12 wins and and a five seed playing on the road where you can where you don't know how to play, which is what people are seeing. They, they're seeing the last two years of San Francisco. They're seeing that they say, you know what? I know we're going to have a successful regular season. We talked about this. The, the regular season, we we expect to have a good regular season and make it to the playoffs. Your performance in the playoffs then dictates how your season really went. So far on the road, which is 5C going on the road, we just have not played well. So people who are looking at us being the 5C saying, okay, we're probably going to have to go on the road in the playoffs multiple times to make it to where we want to be, it makes you a little nervous. It makes you a little nervous. And people don't really forget that Buffalo stump out, okay? It was a stump out. It wasn't, you know, it, 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 it was ugly. You know, San Francisco just took a stomp out. I mean, people take a stomp out throughout the year. I mean, it happens. It happens. Yeah, it's only 172. Miami, Miami took a stomp out when they played Buffalo. How many? How many stomp outs they took? I don't know. Because we took a stomp out against San Francisco earlier this season. Okay. We took a stomp out against Buffalo Two. this season. Two. And we got beat by the Arizona Cardinals with Josh Dobbs as their quarterback. It makes you nervous when you say, I got to go out here and play these playoff teams, possibly on the road. <clears throat> And I see what's happened to us in the regular season. That, it, it makes me nervous. I mean, and not, maybe not you, because you want us to be the five seed to go on the road. But it makes me mm. nervous as hell. I'm nervous. I want a home game. Yeah, I got you. I want a home game. Play where we comfortable at. What, what you think, Ed? No, I mean, 7-0 and at home, you want to play a playoff game at home. But I, I think people are freaking out because you've seen the 12, like you just said, you've seen the 12-5, and five, the regular season. It don't mean nothing, especially when you remember how you got eliminated from the playoffs, and that's versus the San Francisco 49ers. And the last time you saw them, they beat you 42-10, to 10, and it seemed like you didn't learn nothing from that last stomp out. So, And you want this team to have – some level of toughness to it to where they don't get exposed in the running game like that to, to the tune of 200 and some odd yards on the ground. And look, against Miami, and I'm, I've come along with what you were saying yesterday as far as the defense and how they held them, and you would have wanted to get a stop there at the mm-hmm. end just to signify that, look, that's Dak's moment. And as, as our team, we're going to make sure that we back our quarterback up to got us that lead. But there's something about this team that you feel like all season long, that's a miss. I haven't been able to put my finger on it. I, right now, all I can point to is the running game. I can only say the running game, this is what's, this is what's ailing us. But at 10-5, and five, Nui, you're looking at a team where if you were the same team in Tennessee, you'd be like, man, we got a good damn team. Mm-hmm. And we're looking forward at the fifth spot, and whoever we got to play, we play. But somehow there's, there's a cast of a, of a dark cloud over this organization that's saying, oh, now we can't go and play on the road. And, and I also think it's it's when in the season things are starting to go awry a little bit. I mean, when you look at it, we all know this December football, that's when you want to be playing your best football as a team, as an organization. Yes. Leading up into the playoffs, you want to be trending in the right direction. Not on some of a, somewhat of a roller coaster ride. When you look at it, you know, Buffalo, you know, that meeting happened in December. Then yeah. you got this this game against Miami where, the you know, the defense and the offense, you know, they both made enough plays to win, but like you said, there was just something missing, just one thing missing. So, 
in December, you, like I said, you want to be going in the right direction, not on a roller coaster ride. And they have an opportunity to fix this out, you know, these last two games, going into the playoffs with a little bit of momentum, with a streak against a uh, really good Detroit game or a really good Detroit team, and then Washington at the end of the season. So you got a chance to ride it out. But okay. to me, overall, yeah, I mean, you, you don't want to be on a roller coaster ride in December. So you say really good Detroit team. So I'm looking at just Detroit losses. They had Seattle with a lead at home, and then they ended up losing that second game of the year, 37-31. Mm-hmm. Look at the next loss. They they went to Baltimore, got stomped yeah, out, 38-6. Yeah, then remember now, they had the game, they had the Thanksgiving Day game right before the Cowboys played, and the Packers Bay. beat them up. They ended up losing that game. Then they went to Chicago. Justin Fields put on a show on them, and they lost 28-13. to uh, So they got steamrolled there. Those are the losses Which is they a crazy had. loss for them. That's right. the one so, loss that you can like, what? Like, what are you doing? So you start looking across this league, it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. People look at their own team and just like, they, they, it's in college football, man. It's, it's, it's happening. It's not a straight line. That's true. That's why we got to let it play out. Whatever you say, Newley. We're going to let it play out. Whatever you say. Thank you. Thank you, whatever, sir. Whatever, let it play out. Whatever you say. that's the show this week. That's the show. You don't we'll want three back. straight losses. <laughs> yeah, not at all. You don't, you don't want that. Tomorrow. You don't want that. <laughs> that, 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 whole, that whole thing about not having back-to-back losses, all that is gone. Like, this this right. is what we stood on for a long time. It's gone. I start over at one. So, ho- hopefully, hopefully we get it then. Mm. Going back to the sheet. How many points did we score in our losses? Do we have we have we had a high scoring no. loss? You know what? That's something. Philly, <laughs> Philly was the only one. Philly was the only how, one. How many yeah. points? That would be great for you to bring up tomorrow with all those statistics, Danny. <laughs> 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 Good Harrison, thank you so much. <laughs> Barry Church, I'm Louis Scruggs. We're done. Thank you, Chris Beam, Jazz, everybody. Uh, Players Lounge is over. Up next, top of the hour, it's Media Mash with me and friends later. <laughs> this has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!